to get the checkered flag waving once again on Long Island. News 12's Doug Gee tells us about a battle to bring back drag racing in Suffolk. They have effectively thrown the residents nearby. They've thrown them under the bus. George Gudmanson lives in a housing development across the street from the former Grumman property in Calverton. He and his neighbors aren't happy that the Riverhead Town Board approved 10 days of drag racing events to be held on two runways on the property. The town board should be concerned with us and who stand to be blasted out of their very backyards by ear-splitting noise. From the, uh, from the drag racing. Environmental groups tried to stop the events, arguing the site is simply inappropriate for something like car racing. You're sitting on top of an aquifer. What happens if there's an accident, if there's a fire, what do they put on to stop it? I mean, a lot of stuff is going to happen, and you can't predict all of it. It's uh, a long time coming. But John Cazallo, founder of the group Long Island Needs a Drag Strip, says protections have been put in place so the environment won't be harmed. He says Calverton is the perfect spot for racing and hopes these upcoming events will eventually lead to a permanent track here. The economic impact study that we had done brings $17 million a year in revenue to the businesses outside of the racetrack. That's not counting people coming into the racetrack. A coalition of groups has reached out to the state DEC asking the agency to take a close look at the of racing events. I don't think they can stop it. I think it's good collateral damage and God forbid that something really nasty happens out there, that's going to be the wake up call. Opponents were successful in changing the original date of one of the events, which coincided with nesting season for birds and other endangered species in the area. In Calverton, Doug Geed, News 12 Long Island. Well, the town board approved permits for two separate drag racing events, one next month, another in September. Supporters say they are convinced safety procedures and efforts to protect the environment are indeed adequate.